So what's up YouTube? Nvidia has enabled G-Sync to work on non-G-Sync monitors, provided you can connect over DisplayPort because that's the only way that G-Sync is allowed to work. So I'm here today to show you how to enable G-Sync on the Acer XF270H or any monitor that has FreeSync, has DisplayPort, or any kind of adaptive frame rate technology. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and right click an empty spot on the desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. And then from the left, you want to go ahead and select Setup G-Sync. Mine's already up there because I've already tinkered with this a few times. Um, and then on one, you just want to click Enable G-Sync. Um, that's up to you if you want to enable it just on full screen or for window and full screen. I just leave mine for full screen only. And then the third option at the bottom by default is not going to be checked, at least from my experience. So it's going to tell you that the selected display, so your display should be listed on part two. It's going to tell you that it's not validated as G-Sync compatible. So basically, because this model is not one that NVIDIA has said is a free sync monitor, but it works fine with G-Sync for what we tested. That's why it's giving you that blurb, and you have to click that extra box to enable it. And after that, you're good to go. So the other thing that I want to do with this video was I want to go ahead and kind of show a side-by-side -side comparison with this monitor in particular, the Acer, with G-Sync off and on. The two, the two games I chose were Crackdown 3 and then Tomb Raider, the first one from, I think it was like 2013 or 2012, I can't remember. The original OG Tomb Raider, not OG, OG PlayStation, but you know, OG. And the reason is, I had Crackdown 3 running at the extreme preset, the highest preset. I'm running a 1070 Ti processor is the Ryzen 5 2600 overclocked to 4 gigahertz um, so that that game was putting out about an average of 80 frames per second so I did the side-by-side -side comparison um, and then I wanted to do Tomb Raider on low settings because I wanted a game that was going to push way more than 144 frames because so this is a 144 hertz monitor to see what the differences would be so I'm going to go ahead and show that really quick I'm not going to add any extra information to it other than you know what settings of the game was on what my card my processor was to let you form your own opinion and then I'll come back after with my opinion also the camera I use is the GH4 at 96 frames per second to capture all this footage so let's go ahead and get into it So I did the side-by-side -side comparison. In my opinion, 
there's not that much difference. Like I don't feel like if you don't enable G-Sync with this monitor, at least this particular monitor, that you won't notice that much of a difference. Now I did see that it was a little bit smoother with G-Sync enabled, so I would definitely enable G-Sync because there's no harm in not, you know, if, there's gonna, if it's going to give you a little bit better experience, then why not enable it? It's not going to hurt anything. So I say enable G-Sync, but if you don't enable G-Sync, I don't think you're missing that much because the refresh rate on this monitor is so high even if you go above it. There wasn't like a huge, there wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know. There was a difference, it was slight in my opinion. But you can tell me what your opinion is in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.